The Asset Recovery Process CFR defines asset recovery the process of identifying, confiscating and returning assets stolen through corruption from the country where they are hidden to the country of origin. Asset recovery is a complex process. It can last up to 10 years to return assets from one country to another. We can identify six stages in a typical asset recovery process. 1. Identification of the crime. 2. Gathering of evidence. 3. Securing of the assets. 4. Court proceedings. 5. Confiscation. 6. Return. Identifying the crime usually would be done by law enforcement in the country of origin, where the corruption occurred. But it could also be done by law enforcement in the country of destination, for example through a money laundering investigation. Once a crime has been identified, then law enforcement will gather evidence for the case. As this is likely to involve multiple jurisdictions, this requires cooperation between law enforcement agencies. Formal cooperation is usually in the form of a request for mutual legal assistance to gather evidence that a crime has occurred. The next step is the securing of the assets. In this stage, law enforcement usually approaches a judicial authority to gain a freezing order over an asset believed to be the proceeds of corruption. The legal standard for this is normally something around reasonable grounds to suspect assets will be removed. Next, law enforcement will initiate court proceedings. There are two common options here. The most usual has been criminal proceedings. This means that the suspected corrupt official is prosecuted in their home country for corruption. The second option is civil proceedings, known as non-conviction based asset forfeiture. With this method, the home government will initiate civil proceedings against the corrupt official in the country where the assets are held. Usually this means a lower standard of proof for civil cases, meaning that it is easier to show that the assets are the proceeds of corruption. Confiscation is the formal taking of the assets by the state. This can be either the actual assets or a value based on the corruption incurred. Finally, return is the transfer of actual assets to the country of origin. Sometimes this happens automatically, but more often countries agree through negotiations about how the money should be returned concretely and how it should be used. Stay tuned for our next video.